Hey everyone, welcome back to Poplar Preparedness. This is a subscriber update. Reports coming from you guys from around the world. We've got a lot of folks check in from Europe, UK, Northern UK, uh, Belgium. Um, but first, let's start off with this. The, at the Simai, Sa, Simrise chemical plant down in Georgia, Brunswick, Georgia, they have a major fire that happened yesterday. Uh, evacuations in nearby neighborhoods, a lot of toxic smoke being put out. Um, it is a major chemical plant. It does not make petrochemical stuff. It makes consumer um, items and such. According to their website, they produce more than 34,000 products. So that means uh, they do a lot of perfumes. They do a lot of things that take fragrances. Um, so lots of different variations. But uh, um, yeah, I know you're thinking perfume that doesn't sound all that important. But uh, a lot of cleaning products actually have perfumes and stuff like that in them. So um, smelling, good smelling cleaning products and stuff like that, those will be held up at the factories until this until they can get the uh, fragrances that the, that they have uh, in those chemical formulations. All right, let's hop into your uh, reports here. Uh, Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry says, Hi, Steve. I'm in Central Florida. I am on my fifth electric bill increase for the year. In January, it was $116. Now it's $350. And was already told it's going up again in January. This is crazy. I am a senior on a fixed income. I have no idea how we are supposed to afford this. I already work two jobs. Uh, friends, uh, things are getting bad out there electricity wise. Uh, electricity prices continue to go up and a good bit of that has to do with the fact that all these green policies are just making things worse and worse and worse. And then it makes us more dependent upon things like natural gas to fill in the, the gaps that um, solar uh, has, you know, like at nighttime. Um, please do keep your reports coming to me. Uh, if you want to email them directly, you can uh, to uh, poplarpreparedness at gmail.com or you can pop them in the comments to any video. Just use the word update somewhere in there so I can search for it. Uh, Corky H says, Southwest Missouri. Another sign of shrinkflation that I have not seen mentioned. I was checking our uh, rotation of supplies when I noticed the older soups like chicken noodle used to have 19 grams of protein and now have 18. Some beef soups went from 20 to 18. Um, and one went from 18 down to 15. Uh, these are calories that have shrunk and protein, right? Uh, more water, less protein equals less energy from the foods we eat. So do be paying attention to that, folks. Uh, uh, that is shrinkflation. Um, older soups are not necessarily the same as new soups. Uh, Laura says, update from this uh, store in Salt Lake City. No sweet potatoes. Regular potatoes are looking lean as well. Uh, we're still having potato issues out there. Uh, the potato harvest potatoes have not gotten out to the stores, at least in force yet, from what we've seen. Lou's Northern Home says, Ohio just came uh, Ohio just came from my local drugstore. Overheard the pharmacist telling a customer that he could not fill her prescription for, for Adderall um, and that it was placed on the national shortage list. He... There's no shortages. There's just a national shortage list, right? Uh, he also said that she could check other pharmacies, but other locals were out as well. I also know that magnesium uh, citrate are, is on a shortage as well uh, that I needed and is not available according to my doctor. Maria F. says, update here. England, no eggs. Vegetable oil used to be one pound, 29 pence. I think it's pence, right? Um, uh, now at 2.10. So from 1.29 up to 2.10. No bread flour, and I'm not going to eat the crickets. <laughs> nor am I, nor am I. Uh, Gert, I believe, in Belgium says, uh, generic 
canned corn in Colroyt rose from 0.59 euro uh, to 0.95 euro. And that's moving from expiration date 2025 up to expiration 2026. So less than one year difference production from 0.95, uh, 0.59 to 0.95, a 61% price increase. Seeing that across the board, aren't we? It's not as low inflation as they're saying it is. The food you stock up now is probably going to do a better investment return than anything you can invest in stocks. Show me a stock that went up 61% in the last year. Some of you are going to do that. This isn't financial advice, but this is life advice, right? Buying some extra food now is a smart thing to do. Just like your granny said. And mine. Um, Carol M. says, uh, update, the reason the trailer factory in northern Indiana is laying off people is that they have no parts. The parts are unavailable. They are still selling campers. It's not that folks don't want to buy. Practical Survivor, update, northwest Michigan. At my local Save-A-Lot, there hasn't been canned corn beef hash for more than a month. No freezer bags for over a month. Granulated sugar has been hit or miss for the same amount of time. Now, of course, if you are in the United States, uh, it is election day and you still have time at the posting of this video to get out there and vote. If you haven't done that already, go out and do it. Just go out and do it. If you believe it won't make any difference at all, just go out and do it anyway. Please, please do. Um, because these, these shortages, we need to do something about that. And, uh, yeah, Malcav in Northern UK went into Costco to top up on baked beans. Only baked beans they have are expensive Heinz baked beans all the way from Pittsburgh, right? Um, went at lunchtime during week expecting less people, but it was totally crammed as bad as any weekend I have been. Guy in queue next to me with shopping cart full of sausage on phone said, yeah, I got a load. We can freeze them and they will last us ages. Spoke to a lady at the exit uh, saying I expected it to be quieter and she replied, it's never quiet anymore in the UK. People are moving towards the bargains. Uh, people are going with generics. People are going to uh, these bargain stores in order to try to cut their food costs. People are doing what they have to do in order to try to survive, right? Uh, Catherine says, update in Western Maryland. Walmart lunch meat is really low. There's a lot of empty spaces for both cheese to be cut and lunch meat to be cut. The pre-cut was also low. There was empty spaces there also. And Jay from Western North Carolina. Spam used to be $1.99 to maybe $2.19 a can. Now, $4.99 to $5.50 a can, if you can find it. Also was behind a, a lady in the store at the checkout with her groceries. She had a relatively small turkey and it rang up for $45.50. She almost stroked out, told the cashier, just keep it, just keep it. Jennifer, I am in Northeast Ohio in the Cleveland, Ohio area. That's okay. That's okay. We, we, we still love you. We still love you. It's okay. Pittsburgh and Cleveland have a, uh, a sports thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I went to two different Walmarts yesterday trying to get what uh, I can to stock up on. Both stores were out of, uh, were down to zero boxed potatoes. I was looking for all gratin potatoes and scalloped, and this is all I could do. Look. Uh, pasta was in very short supply, all brands. Great value, maybe 10 boxes left. I did get cases of beans and veggies. Uh, Wednesday, uh, I am going to Aldi and Mark's. Keep stocking up. Friends, if you're like me, when I see something out, like when I, when I see like a whole section like out or when I go to try to grab something and they don't have any, I just go to the next section or I go to a, another section and when I see stuff other stuff, I'm like, 
when is this going to be out? So I just stock up. If I can't stock up on that, I stock up on, on something else, right? Dano says, uh, in update in Arizona, also very low on canned chicken. Um, so I'm going to be going to the store uh, shortly to see uh, what's going on with the uh, the canned chicken here in Pittsburgh. Hopefully they've restocked because last time I was there, they just didn't have any. Like none. Zero. You saw the pictures last week. It's just ridiculous. All right, folks, um, please do keep your reports coming. Uh, just put down in a comment below like what you're seeing at your stores. Uh, if you have information at your workplace uh, that you'd like to share, uh, just put that in the comments. Make sure you use the word update. Give us some sort of geographical location, and I will uh, find it for you. Thank you so much. Um, if you like this video, if you found this video useful, you might want to check out this other video from me right here. I'll see you over there. Or I'll see you later. Steve Poplar out.